Hey guys, Jonathan here. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about all the game modes in Enlisted and rating them from worst to best. And there are three game modes in Enlisted, those being Invasion, Conquest and Assault. So let's begin on this video. Now I will be using Normandy footage to show all these different game modes. Also, I will have to say that I don't actually have much footage on uh, Versamo Assault, so I'll probably be using Versamo Conquest or Evasion to supplement these clips. Anyway, <laughs> let's start with the worst. Coming in for the worst game mode in Enlisted, it is Assault. Now the problem with Assault is it is horribly, horribly, horribly balanced in favour of the um, Defenders. And I mean this as well. The defenders get it so easy in assault. If you have to take two points, nine times out of ten, you are never ever going to complete this map. Assault might be arguably the most unbalanced game mode I've ever seen in an FPS because it just horribly unbalances on one side. Like I know that other game modes and maps can be badly balanced, but the problem with this is that it just is awkwardly unbalanced. Now I think they have tried to fix Assault but it still pales in comparison to both Conquest and Invasion. Which is ironic because it's literally just taking elements from both game modes. It's taking the control points from Conquest and it's taking in the um, tickets from Invasion and it's just mosh piling them into something which is awful. Versamo Assault is arguably one of the worst maps if not the worst map in the game. It is awful and it's really, sh it feeds on the Chateau de Bourg, which is another hated map. Literally, all the defenders have to do is hold one point, and that's it. If it locked, if the point locked, say, like, say, attack defense in Team Fortress 2, then this game mode would be a lot better. But because the points stay open until you've taken both of the points, you'll be railroaded into just a um, back and forth between the defenders and the attackers because the defenders will just dogpile into B, then dogpile into a and dog pile into B and dog pile into A continue at nauseum. The only way I can see this working is if you have a full party with a lot of coordination but other than that it's just awful. Awful game mode and honestly just awful experiences all around. Coming in at the middle is in fact Conquest. Now a lot of people say that Conquest is the worst game mode. I can agree and disagree. There are some fantastic Conquest maps. The Brie, Ruins of Val are both fantastic Conquest maps. The problem with Conquest is it's really dependent on the map. Like I said, Labrie, Ruins of Val are fantastic maps. Versamo is an okay map, Couville Farm is okay, but the problem is when people think of Conquest, they think of Fortified District, which I've heard is awful in Moscow, they think of Chateau de Bourges, Swamps, and you just don't think of maps like Labrie. It's detrimental to the game mode when you think of these massive maps that just take too long and you're just going to be grinding for victories. There's also the problem that it's just domination from Call of Duty only worse because it's the maps are much larger and, and it's 10v10. If this, on some of the maps like Chateau, these would work if they was like 16v16 or 32v32. That would be fucking incredible. But the problem with these maps are that they're just too big. And some maps are just awfully designed. Swamps really does not fit well. Chateau, other than the B point, is completely worthless. Like the points are fine, but outside you've just got huge flatlands, which are boring. Again, there are great maps. Ruins of Val and the Brew are actually, in my opinion, on par with invasion maps. Spoiler alert, invasion is number one, as you can tell already, since the other game modes have already been announced. But the problem with these is that again, two maps versus six in Normandy. I don't know about Moscow. I know in Berlin that there is one map which is a five point which apparently is a really good map. I think it's the right chancellery. But yeah the problem with this is that the maps really do not fit the playstyle well. Versamo works but that's only because B point. Couville Farm is okay but it's really rarely played and really again the B point is the best part of the map. I think that those two work because they're small enough. Of course you have um, Labrie and you have Runes of Val which are both incredible maps. 
might have ruined the Vile's uh, A point. Those two maps flow incredibly well. Anyway, let's talk about what I think is the best game mode in Enlisted. And the unquestionable best game mode in Enlisted has to be Invasion. There's no contest. Compare maps like Airfield, Ruins of Vile Invasion, or Labrie Invasion. Compare those to the Swamps or Chateau. Now, I will say Invasions, they're not the, it's not a perfect game mode. You'll find incredible glitches like this one in Airfield where you can get even beyond a thousand. Seriously, this is like hello. And I will say that this is, even with 10v10, it's a clusterfuck. I will still say, however, this is the best game mode in Enlisted. If you haven't played Enlisted, this is what Wait, Enlisted what? is. This is 100% why Enlisted is such a great game. It's why it's, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, shooter on the market right now. Just having these humongous battles, 10v10s just slamming into what each other, tanks everywhere, planes flying overhead. It can get a very it. annoying, Johnny. especially if there's that one twat in the plane who's just carpet bombing the living fuck out of everyone. Or when you have an enemy tanker who is really, really good at what they do and just stays in the back and blows them on up, aka me. But other than that, each of the maps are really well designed. Le Brie, for example, there's part of the map which is um, custom for every um, playstyle. You've got long ranges, you've got two close range scenarios, one open field for tanks. It is incredible. Airfield, while it's mostly open fields, it does have a lot of close range scenarios which are really, really powerful. You've also of course, got Ruins of Var, which starts out incredibly close and then opens up. Versa Mur has a really hectic landing. D-Day as well, very hectic. And you've got, D-Day again, it's another good one in terms of level design because you've got loads of cliffs, you know, which again, I know they're annoying having enemies in the cliffs, but you have long sight lines or you can just run in guns blazing tunnel vision with a thompson or a grease gun or a stem and just blast away again invasion just is a lot of fun and i think this is what enlisted is meant to be compared to the other ones which i generally will not say there is a bad invasion map in this game but of course i've already said that salt is horrible and that conquest is here or miss depending on the map anyway i think that'll be the end of this video i'm just going to wrap it up and hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please hit the like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video